and welcome back to Unjaded Jade. Um, so today is Thursday and we've kind of just had a really chill day today. We haven't really done that much. Me and Fault went in the pool and I edited some videos and stuff. And it's quite exciting because we are going to a vegan restaurant for dinner. And really Fogel doesn't that. like veggies. He doesn't like vegetables yeah. or fresh oh, food or no any meat. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Um, yeah, and I've never actually been to a fully vegan restaurant. Woo! So we're just on a buggy and the sun is setting. Yeah, so mum's not vegan, but she eats pretty much all yeah, my I vegan like, food. I don't like it, especially if it's prepared for me. Yeah, and whenever we're out, mum always eats just like the vegan options so that we can share. Just arrived at the restaurant, haven't we, mum? How have we never been here? Dad's wearing his motivational shirt. It says, create, don't deviate. Of course. And Falker clearly is more interested in getting the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Well, beautiful day. So you've got Japanese wine? No. No Japanese wine. I have a Japanese wine. <laughs> so Dad is having vegan lasagna, which looks amazing. It's delicious. Really. Is it? Is yeah. it really good? Yeah. Yes. It's very moist. In ravioli. So Dad is obsessed with the news, aren't you, Dad? I'd like to keep up with it. <laughs> <laughs> Chariot awaits. So we are getting in a tuk-tuk. Oh, no. Hi! These are the cheap way wow. to travel. Oh, I just hit my head on the ceiling. <laughs> so this is probably the least safe way to travel. We're just traveling along the road with this massive open door. Oh, this way. Oh. A folk is just concerned about his quiff with the wind. <laughs> How are you this morning, folk? Tired. Tired. Up at seven. No, we got up at eight, mate. But wait, you set the alarm for like seven. Yeah, because we're jet lagged, we need to get used to the time. Way to work. Good morning. Um, it's like 7.30 here, but we're still quite jet lagged, so it's like 1 a.m. back home. But um, I keep setting an alarm each day so that me and Folk are forced to get up early so that we get into the time zone here. Um, and we woke up to like this kind of horrid weather. I mean like the views are still pretty and everything, but we've kind of got like a lake outside. Um, so currently I am just making some porridge for my mum and me. I always just use like a mug to measure it out because I'm lazy and I'm not gonna use scales. So this morning I'm gonna try and get some more English coursework done. Look at my personal statement a bit more, a bit more um, and then we'll go out later. But I, just, I need to get some stuff done. So on the first day here, I literally had no idea how to use this thing. It's like one of those electric hobs and at home we just have like an old school one. And I'm not joking, it took me about half an hour to work out how to use because there was a child lock on it. How was I meant to know there was a child lock on it? And I had to like look up the model and just attempt to do it, but it's all good now. So I just finished my breakfast and I'm gonna go upstairs now and start typing up some English lit coursework. I put off starting for a bit because I was Snapchatting one of my best friends, Charlotte, who is right now in Canada. And we have like a 12 hour time difference between us, isn't it crazy? Um, yeah, and I really miss her, so I miss you, Charles. Shout out to you. Good luck, <laughs> Good luck with vlogging. And work. <laughs> and I'm trying to not sit at this desk unless I'm planning on doing work, so it's like a mindset thing. If, you, if I sit here, I'm doing work. I'm not messing around, going on social media or anything. So I just finished typing up one. And let's just say the word limit is very rapidly approaching. So I'm all sun creamed up, which is great. Falkett is chilling today, as oh, usual. Hey. Falk, do you want to talk to the camera? What have you been doing today? I was only just started, I haven't done anything. It's nearly 12. Well, I woke up at 7 because you forced me to wake up with a stupid alarm. <laughs> and then came downstairs, went on my iPad, chilled. Had some breakfast. And now you're still chilling. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so do you want to come in the pool with me? Fine. Yay! 
Love you, folk. I might have to drive me upstairs to get cheese. Oh, shush. So it's, it's morning and Dad's just woken up. <laughs> porridge or porridge setting. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go out and see some monkeys, I think, correct? No, we're going to the Big Buddha. Oh, Big Buddha. Well, there's a few monkeys. <laughs> That's true. So what are you up to right now, Dad? Uh, I'm going to have a shower because I think I need one. Yeah. <laughs> Transform myself. Just go down to bed. I've had a beautiful sleep in. That's what holidays are for. Okay, over and out. Of course I am, yeah, I'm getting highly paid for this. So folks just come out the pool and what's he doing? He's on his iPad again. Yeah, I'm not naked by the way, don't be deceived. I'm wearing trunks under this. So we are just getting ready to go to the um Big Buddha Temple. The weather's cleared up though, so that's that's really good. Ah, uh, spot attack, no, no. Um, the issue is when you go to these temples that a lot of tourists don't know is that you have to cover up your shoulders, your knees. So I'm wearing this really long, beautiful maxi dress. Um, otherwise you kind of have to buy different clothes or um, pay to borrow a sarong, which you basically just wrap around you. And I might still get told to wear a sarong because my dress is sort of slitted. Um, but yeah. Oh, beautiful Falker. So we're just getting ready to go to the Big Buddha. And mum is wearing a top that says, Happiness. Happiness. You excited, mum? I am, actually. Yeah, Good. I really enjoyed it last time we went. Yeah, the last time we went was like 2014. So considering you have to cover up so much of your body, dad is being such a rule breaker. Rules are there to break, and I broke a lot. <laughs> weird phrases this sounds so scripted on camera so we are currently just arrived at the big buddha and the views here are like stunning it's like the highest point you can see from kata so we are just sitting here looking at the view aren't we i see the big buddha right there and of course we have the amazing view behind us <laughs> Why did you just put on your sunglasses? Because of this sun. Uh, right, yeah, I've got a good angle. <laughs> I'm learning, actually. You're learning? Yeah, learning how to do vlogs. So, not easy, I might add. Uh, so, how many steps is this, Jade? I don't know. I think it counts. a lot of steps. Can you, can you get the angle bit better, please? Sorry, is that angle better? No. That looks amazing. <laughs> but listen, I'm doing my best. I've got an extender arm. You're doing really well, Dad, really well. But it's probably not good, vlog. Probably need more of an extension arm. That's you there, can you see? The yes. angle's far better. Right, okay. Bye! Bye. It's hard to get sound. <laughs> So those monkeys might be cute, but they are evil, aren't they, Dad? Uh, nearly got a little chunk out of it, didn't it? Literally, I turned around, Dad was like, oh, you got one right behind you, Jade, cool. I turn around, and it has its little hands on my dress, and it's just like about to sink its teeth into my thigh. It was like, so literally terrifying. Like, I'm such an animal person, but that was not. Uh, does that mean you're sort of tasty? <laughs> Why would you say that, Dad? <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Mm -hmm. Hi. Same. So we are back at the supermarket and Falkert asleep, so he's staying in the car. Yeah, by the way, the driver thinks he's Justin Bieber. Yeah, he always calls him Justin Bieber. But hey, Justin Bieber! Is it a haircut? Maybe it's a haircut. I've realised again how much I love papaya. Like, my parents don't like it, but I love it. Porridge. Why is porridge so good? Low glycemic load. It's got a low, slow burn of energy, right? Rather than having chocolate, 
chocolate gives you a massive hike and a big drop. Whereas this consistent energy during the day, very, very good. <laughs> you should advertise porridge. You should be selling it, shouldn't you? I am just taking this opportunity to soak up the sun and I'm doing some sunbathing. And I am wearing a bikini, but it's quite low set. Very nice. <laughs> so we've just got changed and we are now going to the night market. So Woody, which is your so football team? I saw dad just has the loudest voice. Yeah. <laughs> so we've managed to be in Phuket for like three or four years or something. We never really went so to the snow market. So I'm what? excited to go to that. I don't know. No. Smarters. So we're here in the night market. Um, Mom's doing a bit of shopping. Oh, and she has bought herself some a skirt. I yeah, and another thing. A skirt, but we're clearly shorts. Some shorts, I believe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're hoping to get back. I'm what happy. Nine o'clock. We can see a Chelsea game. Football match. No, boring. Anyone looking for some shoes? Dad just said no. So I've been on the hunt for some jackfruit because I had some at a market last year and it was amazing. And I've just found some over there, so we're gonna go and investigate, aren't we, Dad? Absolutely, let's go. Is it good? <laughs> This is my kind of stall. I've got a cheeky coconut. <laughs> so the food has just arrived. Dave, what's happening? So we're just getting passport pieces because our new passports are going to get destroyed otherwise. And we are getting our names personalised onto them for free. Oh, yeah. Put those there. So, uh, give me some money. How much do I owe you? Uh, 2.40. Yeah. I had a camera added because I feel like it's relevant. Thank you. Lovely. <laughs> really good. Thank you. I can't believe this. What? Are you serious? Go! Go away! <laughs> no, 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 no! So, as you might be able to still hear, Volker is very annoyed with the football. He is a strong Chelsea supporter. But yeah, overall, I've had such a lovely day, like going to the market, going to Big Buddha, getting work done, going in the pool, everything. Like, oh, I just love being here and being away. Um, yeah, it's really nice. And having this to look back on, I can already like feel myself loving edi editing this, so. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you've had an equally lovely day and if it's not going that amazingly, go out now, you can change that. Go for a walk or something, go out with your friends, go out with your family or just sit to yourself, play some music and smile. See you later, bye.